What's up beautiful people, my name is Jo and I'm a non-binary person. Today I'm going to talk to you about what it's like having a period when you don't identify as being a woman. Not so fast, I hope you know by now that these videos that I do are for everyone and just because you don't experience perhaps what is in the title or what I've just mentioned doesn't mean that it's not going to affect your life and the people around you. So please stay tuned and listen to this video and I hope you find it useful. There's a few things I would like to share with you, whether you are a non-binary person yourself, whether you are raising a non-binary person or know a non-binary person in your life somewhere. And just try and make you realise some of the things that they might be going through on a nearly monthly basis. It's only been in the last couple of years that I've come out being non-binary. Therefore, I have lived most of my life having periods when I identified being a woman. So the experience has changed for me a little bit recently. I think the main reason is because everywhere you see periods are what women experience no 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 periods aren't the most pleasant thing to experience some people celebrate it their womanhood and this is what their body does and all of these things most people i speak to don't like talking about it and when they do it's because of something that they don't like about it either that being cramps or because they have really heavy periods almost half the population will experience a period at some point in their life why don't we talk about it more often why is it not more accepted when half the people have it the patriarchy we should talk about them more just being normal, don't go uh every time someone mentions having their period. After coming out as non-binary, I have struggled having my periods a little bit more, I would say. I think it's because it's more conscious. Um, before, I would always struggle with them, not only because I have a heavy period, but it just always reminded me of being AFAB, assigned female at birth, and always brings me back to that because of all the products that are designed for women, and all the advertising and everything it's all about womanhood being a woman and that obviously makes me feel really uncomfortable therefore every month i am reminded of my womanhood and that's something that i'm trying to get away from and that's also what other people experience as well whether you are non-binary or trans non-gender conforming people who experience periods will always go through this cycle of discomfort when it comes to this time of the month and i'm really working on it i'm working on accepting my body and loving my body just the way it is because it's perfect as are all of your bodies it's something that i just need to accept that this is what my body does it's my body and this is what my body does and needs to do this wasn't always the case when i was growing up i'd always try and find ways to stop it um, I heard about the pill, so I took the pill and um, yeah, if there was a competition or something, I would use it as an excuse to take a pill to stop it, but then I would just keep taking it so I wouldn't have a period. And therefore, not experiencing dysphoria. But I realised this probably wasn't the best thing to do, <laughs> so I stopped that. But when I got older and kind of recently, I decided to go for a coil in the hopes that it would... Um, at least make my period lighter, if not, hopefully, stop it altogether. Which, for the first, I think it was six months, I kind of bled solidly for. So that was just a whole world of discomfort, let alone the whole process of getting it done in the first place. But after that, it did stop. However, the consequence of that was my hormone levels just going all over the place and I didn't know whether I was coming or going and it was not a good thing for me to experience and it just worked out better that to take it out. I've also always considered having a hysterectomy which for some people are like whoa why would you do that? Well if you're experiencing something regularly that really makes you uncomfortable then you kind of think about all the options and I really did consider it when I was younger I think the only thing that actually put me off was the recovery time and it being I think it was six weeks or so recovery and I thought financially like the time off work and physically I don't want to experience that but that was pretty much the only reason why I didn't um, and again a lot of people would go to that option just to not experience having a period. When I have periods I go through all these things and I think about other people and I think about younger people that are starting to go through the process of puberty and experience periods for the first time and how that would really affect them and their journey of their gender identity if you're not 
happy with the gender you're assigned and how what other people can do to support that it must be really scary um to be going through that i mean it's scary anyway whether yeah you're non-gender conforming or not so i think we could all offer a little bit more support i feel like we could be doing more talking about periods normalizing them that people have periods not women people have periods so what's the answer well i've kind of already just mentioned it um we talk about it more we normalize periods we don't gender periods and the products marketing has got a lot better and some of the products are trying to aim not specifically at women which is a start but we can all do our little bit if you're raising children and they're experiencing periods then just kind of talk them through it and say this is a thing that your body does um that people experience it's okay offer support and you can always get professional support online as well with this i think also just be a little bit more compassionate with people especially around that sort of time amount they probably don't want to bring it up because we all associate periods with being a woman so if you kind of admit to someone that oh I feel really shit at the moment because I'm having my period. You're kind of saying to them that you are a woman because that's the way that we think. Whereas we kind of want to change that. Be compassionate with people and talk about it more. And that's what I'm doing today, sharing my periods with you. You're so lucky. I hope you found this video useful. Please follow my other social media and give me a follow on there. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video. Subscribe and I'll see you next time.